Since this race started, you entered history. But do you want history to say you finished in second place? It might be worse to lose and it's good to win, if that makes sense. I spent a lot of time winning. It's been the battle of the blues, though one blue is really green. You've been rowing since what feels like forever. Your senses start deteriorating a little bit. Some people talk about it going dark around the edges. This white noise kind of takes over. It's kind of muscle memory from there on out. You're working too hard and too fast to get rid of this stuff. We didn't want to be grim here, but it's gonna hurt by now. <laughs> yes and no, it's kind of a masochistic thing. I think rowers pride themselves in the pain that we experience. I've woken up the next day and my finger's swollen into like this position. It's like the oar. You're permanently a rower, even in your sleep. But you remember what this is for, right? Level the series. Beat the tabs. Bring it on. <laughs> William, you've rowed for both sides. Which is better? Uh, I don't know, Oxford. Mike, how does this race feel compared to the Olympics? I, I certainly didn't feel that the Olympic final had the same uh, gravitas. I'll take that. Oliver, bring us home. Visualize a win. Visualize it. I never visualize it. I'd rather just do it. OK, all of you, never mind what you go on to do after this. Give them a 16-gun salute, win four times, and put on one hell of a show. Heck yeah, that's, that's what we're good at.